I'm so happy to be sitting with you. I'm always happy when I get to sit with you. But I feel like this time, it's a little different. I feel like you are sitting in a moment in your life. I, I feel like there's something different happening. You're 48, you're having this incredible moment in your professional life. Your kids are growing. You're comfortable, more comfortable in your own skin. Do you feel like there's something happening in this moment for you? I feel very, I do, I feel very happy. I feel very, very happy, very blessed. Um, professionally, I've just had a big, yes. big moment for my brand. Finally, uh, post-COVID, going back to showing my collections with my first big show in Paris mm. felt like such a triumph. I mean, it really, really was. And I said to myself, in the middle of the pandemic, I said, if I am lucky enough to do mm. another show, I'm going to really, really enjoy it. Because <laughs> in the past, you know, you become quite bogged down with the mm -hmm. stress of it all. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. So I feel very happy professionally to have this creative outlet making women feel yes. empowered and i love that you were vulnerable you're like you know what this is amazing like you just paused in the middle of a moment where you could have been how a lot of people depict you keep it together oh look at me always stylish but instead you're like this is me right now yeah i mean as you said i planned on coming out having a great picture yeah. at the end of the show yeah. and i just saw my husband i saw my children yeah. i saw my parents yes and i just got very emotional because it felt like such a moment because my ultimate dream has been to build a luxury fashion and beauty uh -huh. house of the future and i'm really really on this journey and loving it do you think people think you're untouchable i think people look at you and think like, they're almost afraid to come near you because you know what? You're not afraid to come near me. <laughs> I'm <you>? never <laughs> afraid. But I feel like you, are, when, when I sit with you, I feel this incredible, like, connection and warmth. And when I look at a picture, I see, like, perfection. I feel like you're two different... Well, that's very kind of you to say yeah. that. You know, I think this is the great thing about social media and why I love it so much mm -hmm. is it really enables me to communicate with mm -hmm. my customer and my community mm -hmm. and for them to get to know me. Mm -hmm. And the fact that that is very different to the picture mm -hmm. that the media likes mm -hmm. to paint, you know. Um, look, I'm a mum. I'm a working mum. Yes. I love to have fun. I love to <laughs> spend time with my family and work very hard. You're so normal. It really so normal. Thank um, you. Can I see your tattoo that everyone's been talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay. So everyone's been talking <laughs> about how there was a tattoo there and now yeah. there's not. Yeah. What is the, it was your husband's initials. Obviously, you've been married forever. There's nothing there. But why did you decide, I'm going to try to just clean that area off? You know, I had these tattoos a long, long time yeah. ago. And they just weren't particularly delicate or very nice. <laughs> My husband has so many gorgeous tattoos, yes. and the children do, and they're very fine, and they've had them created mm -hmm. by the most phenomenal mm -hmm. artists. But mine were just a little bit thick, and they were bleeding mm -hmm. a little bit, and just not looking as pretty. Mm -hmm. So, so um, you just wanted kind of to a little, was there like a little just a little cleansing? Bit a, a little bit of a cleanse. Yeah, they started to bleed and go oh. almost like a sort of bluey colour, so yeah. they just didn't look so nice. So it doesn't mean anything more than that. I think yes, that the media please. started to speculate. Was I leaving my yeah. husband? No, I was just a bit sick of the tattoo. It's as simple as that. Well, you know, you guys have been married forever, 23 years. And I was just thinking how cool it would be to be Brooklyn, to look at your son who's starting his married life, can look and see that's how you do it. Yeah. That's What lessons do you think you're teaching him? I'm not necessarily saying by saying, here, honey, A, B, C, but just by watching mm what a relationship looks like. You no, know, I think it's about being a close family mm -hmm. and having the lines of communication mm -hmm. always yeah. always open and just just being there. I mm -hmm. think that you can never really offer advice. You know, the kids the kids have to figure it out themselves, mm -hmm. you know, but you have to be yeah. there and we're very close and all I want is my children to be happy and and what can you ask for, really? You can't. You can't ask for anything more. Let's talk about this new beauty line because we know that obviously you're in the very front of all the fashion industry. This beauty line is beautiful, elegant, easy. I think is a good way to put it. I mean, this eyeliner, you are on fire about this eyeliner. Tell us what it is that you're so passionate about. For me, it was about building a luxury mm. fashion and beauty house of the future with a strong focus on sustainability, mm -hmm. inclusivity, mm -hmm. and clean formulas. Mm -hmm. And mm. I just, I love it. I yeah, love this creative love outlet. I'm 
obsessed with makeup and mm -hmm. I'm just creating what I have never been able to find in my mm -hmm. makeup bag. I'm very, very involved. I've never been someone that just likes to put my name on things. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. There's room for everybody. But for me, it's very important that I'm involved every single step of the way, not just from the, the, the idea, but I get in the labs. Mm -hmm. I obsess over mm -hmm. the detail. You do. The size of the pigment in the eyeshadow, <laughs> those little things. And so this is a real passion of mine, and the makeup has been doing phenomenally well. Mm -hmm. I mean, the awards that the makeup has won is incredible because I don't release anything until it is absolutely the best on the market. And mm. Alka Gel eyeliners, we literally can't keep them in stock because yeah. they're easy to use, mm -hmm. clean formulas, mm -hmm. um, and once you've created your look, the wear is absolutely it phenomenal. It's yeah. phenomenal. And we, we cannot make enough of these <laughs> eyeliners. And I, I'm loving your sort of dual background yes. because we've just released some new Kajal eyeliners mm. that have a dual effect mm. that are absolutely incredible. There's nothing like it out there. She's so cool. She is so cool. I love talking to her. She's real and, you know, and now we know the now we know the story behind the tattoos. Yes. That's you, it. You guys covered a lot of ground. We, we got tattoos, it all. Concealer, <laughs> you did it all.